Good morning, everyone. We are here in Elma. We stopped by the rest area because there is free water. Awesome. So I'm going to top off my tank, which is right there. Good girl. Go pee pee. So at this rest area, they only allow you to stay here eight hours. So if you're not here at night, then you probably can't sleep here. I'm not sure how strict they are about that rule, but yeah, eight hours. The water was a little complicated to fill up because it's push button and it cuts off every 40 seconds. So you have to go back every 40 seconds or just stand there and push the button. It was kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm just glad to have free water. So, and I guess that prevents it from wasting water because it automatically shuts off. So I came up here with Mike. There he goes. He's going to go ahead and head to his new camping spot. I'm supposed to go meet Carolyn. And then I'm not sure what the plans are. She's in Bremerton. We're supposed to go to Seattle. I believe she wanted to go there, which would be cool because I've never been to Seattle. And then afterwards, hopefully we can go meet Mike wherever he's camping at. Mike gave me a sticker, so I added him to my sticker collection. Did you find a stick? Did you find a stick? What is that? It's a big stick. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> no, let go. Let go. Okay. Go get it. <laughs> Good girl. All right. Let me see it. I can throw it. She's like, no. Mine. It's mine. No. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh. We want to get feisty, huh? Feisty. <laughs> You're gonna get it. Who's gonna get it? It's mine. Give it to me. Oh no, no. Here it is. Come on. <laughs> get it. 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 <laughs> okay. Here you go. And go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, let's go inside. Good girl. Yes, I did have my lemon water earlier. That was actually way over an hour ago. Usually I just wait an hour. And I just had a couple bananas. Mmm. But, you know, bananas don't fill me up, so I ended up making me a hot dog. This is the organic all beef uncured hot dog. And I um, put some chorizo and Monterey Jack and Colby, I believe it is, cheese on there. The chorizo is the soy vegetarian chorizo. So I, I like chili, but I don't want to use the chili in the can because, yeah, I just don't like, I don't know what's in it. <laughs> so I'd rather use this um, soy chorizo. It tastes just like the chili in the can. It looks so yummy. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's so good. So what I ended up doing was frying the chorizo with some organic ketchup to loosen it up and make it more like chili sauce. And add in a little bit of water and then I just spread it on the bread. So yummy. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. And I also made some from Moomoo as well. What you waiting on? Christmas? Come on. <laughs> She's like, what's up here? So there is a cool, awesome field. Wow, that's beautiful. Ooh, that looks like a time lapse. So I have some editing that I need to get done. So I guess I'll leave y'all with the time lapse and see you in a little bit. Enjoy.
Today is only Thursday. I'm not supposed to meet Carolyn until Saturday because that's when she's free. I believe she's waiting on a package. So what I'm going to do, I guess, is just waste time until then. I was going to head down with Mike to the new camp spot, but it is kind of far out of the way. So I didn't want to have to go there and then backtrack all the way back up to Bremerton. So, yeah. And a truck just pulled in. Air brakes. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so we're going to get back on the road. And there's a casino not too far. I'm going to stop there and see what's going on there. Maybe stay there. If not, there's a Walmart right in the vicinity. So, yeah, let's get back on the road. I've sought you in the streets and darkened alleys On strange rooftops in the sea of stars above me Praying somehow you would hear my pleas and find me Break the bonds that grip my soul at last untie me Break the bonds that grip my soul at last untie me the paved parking lot which is free to park in as you can see there are some RVs here and then right on the other side of that wall is where the RV resort is that's where plug-ins and everything else that is paid I heard it's uh, pretty inexpensive but you're really close to your neighbors there's Little Creek Casino and they do have buffet I might actually go check and see what it looks like I parked Panda over here so it can get the last bit of Sun that's left of the day so once that sun right there is gone, I'm going to move over into this parking lot with the rest of the RVs. All right, Mumu, outside. Good girl. Shake it off, shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. All right, I'm locking up the RV, and I'm going to take Mumu for a little stroll. Yeah, it's a little tight in there, but not too bad. On this side of the RV resort, there is more parking, and I heard you can park here with your RV as well. There are a couple parked here and one over there as well. It was like, what is that? This is the entrance to the casino. We will definitely check that, or I will definitely check that out later. They do have a gas station trading post combination here. Oh, actually the gas is not bad, $2.79. Last place I just paid $2.99. Or actually it was $3.09, so that'll be good. I actually need to get some gas. They also do have a three level parking deck. And that way is to the hotel and dining, so that's where the buffet must be. Here is the main entrance, I believe, for the casino hotel. I just saw a guy carrying a dog out, and I was like, they allow dogs in there? And he was like, they didn't say anything to me about carrying a dog. So maybe I'll try that later. We'll see. Usually they have signs, but there were no signs at any of the doors saying no dogs. Here is the escalator to the parking deck. Fancy. So this must be the entrance to the hotel here. It's pretty cool looking. Here's another entrance for the hotel. It said that was the lobby, so I wonder if that's the main entrance. This all looks very Asian to me, some parts anyways. That's the Skookum Creek Event Center. This is where they have their concerts or any events. We was like, come on, stop being a tour guide, let's go. <laughs> There's uh, another shot of the hotel. It's pretty cool so looking. excitable. So happy. Just happy to be out and running around. <laughs> She's like, ooh, grass, grass, grass. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Here is another entrance for the hotel. Now, this one actually looks like it could be the main entrance. It's so hard to tell. I'm not sure if there's really a main entrance. Because over here is another entrance. They just must have multiple entrances. 
This has the valet section. Valet only. Oh, what a cool water feature. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Can I go swimming? Oh, I see coins in there, so it's a wishing well as well. As well. <laughs> she looks kind of... Um, I don't know. <laughs> What's she doing? She's like, I want to inspect this fountain. <laughs> she looks kind of Amish looking. Lulu is just confused at the bubbler. She's like, what is that thing? <laughs> you scary? What do you smell, Moo Moo? So the hotel has an outdoor patio. Pretty neat. <laughs> and also some outdoor swings. Look at the itsy bitchy chain they use. How do you feel about it, Moo Moo, huh? <laughs> I have to hold you. Oh. Ooh, fancy. Baby grand piano. So, yeah, all these entrances, they lead to the same place. <laughs> It just has multiple entrances. You're free, go, Mama, go. You're free. I don't have to carry you no more. Ah. Nope, this isn't a main entrance. It's just a side entrance. Cool. All right, Mama, fun. Don't get locked up in the door. <laughs> it is 68 degrees, and it's 8 o'clock, so it's getting late. They have what? Buffet $5.99. So that $5.99 was the breakfast buffet. I might actually have to check that out. Moo moo. Are you harassing? Alright, this is just a side lobby. The main lobby was the one that we were just in not too long ago. Alright, come on, moo moo. Go, go, go. Automatic door, she's like, yay, I'm free, I'm free. <laughs> Alright, Mumu, come on. <laughs> there it is, I found it. It's the Creekside Buffet. Hi, can I just ask you how much your buffet is? Sure, it is $16.95 before tax. Before tax, and what is, what's all on the buffet? Tonight's our eighth cuisine. Oh, there you go. If you like, you can take a look at it before you decide. Um, I, yeah, I've got my dog, so I might come back then. We do allow animals in here as long as they stay below the food. Oh, okay, cool. All right, thank Hi, you. <laughs> yes, she is. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Are you a good dog? She is. Did mom take you? Did mom take you out? <laughs> but I'm yeah. going to go and um, put her up, and then I'll come back and check it out. Thank you. I appreciate the information. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe that they actually allow pets in the restaurant as long as you keep them on the floor. They're not allowed to be picked up because they don't want the hair getting everywhere. But dogs are not allowed in the game rooms, so you can't bring them to where the games are, which is understandable. I wonder if they allow smoking. Not that I smoke, but yeah. All right. It's filled up just a little bit. There is Panda all safe and sound. As you can see, we made it back to Panda. We're gonna go ahead and call it a night. Well, I might go enjoy some buffet. Not sure, it's kind of late, but maybe. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Love y'all. Onward bound.